Differences in the climate conditions associated with specific geographic locations must be carefully considered in your design. Using the proper location and climate data is essential for making accurate predictions about the building's energy performance. The impact of the climate conditions associated with different geographic locations can easily be explored in Revit and Insight. To see the impact of local climate conditions on the energy performance of your model, you can save several versions with different project locations and generate insights for each of these versions to compare the results. Let's get started by opening the Revit model for this climate comparison. Go to the Analyze tab and open the Location tool. Choose to define location by Internet Mapping Service. Enter an address, for example Cancun, Mexico, then click Search. Then select the location. If a list of weather stations appear, select the closest one or the one with the most similar conditions to the project location. Click OK to apply these location settings. You can also display a list of the monthly temperatures in the Revit interface. Open the Location tool again. Click the Weather tab, located at the top left of the Location, Weather, and Site window, to display the weather station data in Revit. In the Weather window, you'll be able to see the dry bulb temperature, the wet bulb temperature, and the mean daily range. Now, let's save this model at this location. Click the Revit application icon, select Save As, and save the project as Location 1. Now let's generate insight for this version of the model. Go to the Analyze tab and click Generate. Choose Update Energy Analytical Model, and this model will be sent to Insight for analysis in the cloud. Now, let's create another version of this model at a different location. To change the location of the project, go to the Analyze tab and open the Location tool. Choose to define location by Internet Mapping Service. Then enter an address, for example, Anchorage, Alaska, and click Search. Then, let's save the model for this project location. Click the Revit application icon, select Save As, and save this project as Location 2. Now we're ready to generate insight for this version of the model. Go to the Analyze tab and click Generate to create insight. This model will be sent to the cloud for analysis. To compare different models with design assumptions that cannot be directly changed in InSight, you must make these changes in Revit and save the models with different project names. Then you can send the models to InSight for comparison in the InSight interface. When the InSight analysis is completed, we can click the Optimize button to access the results and display the analysis there. First, let's display location and weather data for one of the locations in InSight. Click the Location tile. In the Location Viewer, select the Weather Station, the blue icon, to display the Weather Station charts. The first chart in the Weather Station window is the monthly temperature. You can hover over a data point to display the maximum, average, and minimum monthly temperature. You can switch to the next chart by clicking the right arrow to the right of the chart. The following charts display the Windrose diagrams for the full year as well as for three-month periods. When you're done reviewing the weather data, close the pop-up window. Then click the Model Viewer tile to return to the Model Viewer. Now let's create a new insight to compare these project locations. Click back to Insight. Note the Model Comparison Viewer on the right side of the window. It compares the submitted models with the default settings. Click Insights. To create a new insight to compare different models, select Create Insight. Select the submitted models that you want to compare and select Done. 
Click the Action button, the three dots to the right side of the tile, and choose Rename from the pop-up menu to change the name of this insight. Set the name of this insight to Location Comparison. Open this insight by selecting its tile. Once you open this insight, you'll see an overview of the models that you can compare. On the right panel, you will also see potential energy cost or EUI ranges for each model and options for commenting, sharing, and changing the insight preferences settings. Now, let's open one of the models and set some baseline assumptions and save this as a new scenario. Select and open one of the projects to save these baseline settings. Let's set a range or value for the following factors. For operating schedule, let's set it to 12.5. For lighting efficiency, set a range from 0 0.7 to 0 0.3 watts per square foot. And for the plug load's efficiency, Let's set 0.6 watts per square foot. Now let's save these settings as a new scenario. Select the Add Scenario button at the top right of the Model Viewer. Click the Action button, the three dots to the right of the untitled scenario name, then choose Rename from the pop-up menu to change the name of this scenario. Let's set the name of this scenario to Baseline Scenario. Now we can use this scenario to apply a shared set of assumptions to all of the models within an insight. Select Back to Insight at the top left of the Model Viewer. In the Model Comparison dashboard, select Baseline from the Scenarios drop-down menu to apply the same assumptions to all of the energy models in this insight. The Scenarios menu in the Model Comparison tile has several favorite scenarios that are always available. Name Sample Net Zero, and Sample Architecture 2030, as well as any new scenarios that you define. When you choose a scenario from this menu, its settings are applied to all of the models in the Insight to easily compare building performance of the models.